Howdy, fellas. Country gig tonight? I hope so. Hey, when I go in, I go deep. You guys ordered yet? No, we haven't. All right, I'll be right back. Nice threads. Too much? Not at all, your commitment to the role is admirable. Well, you know, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. I call this the Doc Holiday. I'm your Huckleberry. What'll it be, Brokeback? I don't get the reference. But I'll have a medium Americano and hold the sass. Okay, that'll be right up. You can have a seat outside, I'll bring it out when it's ready. Oh, can you take that out to Scott? Guys, get a band meeting going on? Yeah, I got some things to figure out. Cool. I gotta hit the drugstore, pick up a couple of prescriptions, and then back to the store. So. I'll catch you later. Boys. Here's your coffee. Oh. Something wrong? No, it's just I thought she'd bring it. I could take it back. No, it's fine. All right, so where are we? We need to get rid of Bennett. And how do we do that? I can't imagine it's not gonna get ugly. Not to be that guy, but before we get rid of him, should we maybe have somebody else lined up? Actually, I have just the person in mind. <laughs> That was weird. Hmm. Hey guys. Hey man. Gonna get some buskin in? Yeah, we're gonna try and get another set in before it quiets down. That's true, come six o'clock, this town is more depressing than a honeymoon suite reunion. Hey Rick. Yeah? Do you mind helping me with this inventory thing? I'm on it. Thanks. Duty calls. Have a good set, guys. Thanks, man. Catch you later. Good coffee. Great coffee. Really? Stone. Yep. Oh, dude. Heads up. It's your brother. What's up, ladies? I see you're enjoying your $12 coffees. Excuse me. Okay. Smells great. Well, for $12, it should, right? Well. Real smooth, John. What do you want? You didn't show up for the interview today. It wasn't my interview. I didn't set it up. Do you know how long it took me to set this one up for you? These people are fantastic and you blew them off. <laughs> that job would have had me working eight hours a day under fluorescent lights, talking on the phone and trapped in a cubicle. You know we can't handle the cage, Johnny. Do you want me to... Point break. Do you want me to tell mom that you blew this interview off? <laughs> You're Daisy if you do. You know what? You guys clearly have way too much friggin' time on your hands. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go earn some real money. Cause he's a lawyer. Is there still money in chasing ambulances? There is, but you go through a lot of shoes. Hmm. When did these get here? She brought them over while you were in the bathroom. Oh, I gotta go. I got a lesson. That's cool. I'm gonna hang back to Petty P here. 
It's not a big deal or anything. We've just had a couple of complaints about the music. You play one fucking jazz No, song. no, it's not the jazz. It's a volume thing. People think it's too loud. Oh, uh, well that's not a problem. While we're on the topic, will you be imposing any restrictions on the type of music we're allowed to play? For example, will there be a ceiling on the number of guitar solos per hour? Or bass solos? Good call. But what if we set song length rules? Five minutes? Yeah, we'll miss out on all kinds of gems, like uh, Purple Rain, Prince and the Revolution, eight minutes and 42 seconds. Or what about uh, the end by the doors? Good one. It's 11 minutes 40 seconds. Or Epitaph by Mingus. It's like two hours long. Guys, seriously. Play what you want, just don't play it too loud. Sweet. Nice. Well, I should get to my lesson. I mean, I'm grabbing another coffee. <laughs>